Mike from LuxBlocks.com and this is a polyhedral toroid. A toroid is essentially a donut and a polyhedral toroid is a donut that's made up of polygons. It's a polyhedron but it's a polyhedron that has a donut configuration meaning it has an opening that goes right to the middle and it's bound by all sides by this continuous surface. So something might look very familiar to you if you look at this closely. Yes, you named it. That right there is the inside of a triangular cupola and on the other side is another triangular cupola and they're connected right in the middle and then around them are these prisms. So how we would do that is this. We take three blocks, three squares, and three triangles and we make a cupola just like this. One, two, and three, and connect them together like so. That is this right there. And then on the other side is another one just like it. So we have one, two, three squares, one, two, three triangles or trigons. We connect those together. And then they connect here. We're going to have make this square to square. That's the only place they can connect. So look what you have here. You have an hourglass shape. You see that? Well, these are all connected right here. And that's this. Just like that. And now we continue around where you make this go from here. to here, like that, that wonderful, and then you go right around and you keep doing that, here, and here, and then one right here too, here, and here. Now let's look at what we got. It's coming together. Now we have to finish by connecting the corners. And this one, they're finished by continuing on, continuing on until you can come to the corner here and use two trigons to cap it off. So we'll do that now. We'll show all that's done right here. Here to there, like so. And do it again. Here to here. And then we can put a trigon here on the top here, right there. And then what trigons there? And one here. Ease them in. Sometimes you have to figure out the best way to get it in there. Sometimes the best way is to put a trigon first and then door it over like a hinge and then help them in. Get your finger underneath if you can and there they go. Snap right in and then put a trigon there. There. And that's how you put the corner on. You do the same thing for all the other sides and you will achieve this trigon here. That's a triangular polyhedral toroid and it's a really awesome shape and of course you can see how you could probably continue this on and make extensions to go underneath and on top and it's a wonderful form. Mike from LuxBlocks.com